Hello everyone, welcome back to FightAge channel. Joshua vs. Daniel Dubu was branded at British level by Hall of Famer, it should not be a title fight. Not everyone is impressed with the upcoming IBF world title fight between Anthony Joshua and Daniel Dubos. Both men have had ups and downs in their careers, but right now are on good runs. Joshua has come back from back-to-back -back defeats to undisputed champ now, to win four in a row including three knockouts of Robert Hellenius. Otto Wallin and Francis Nagato. Dubos has also put together two wins after losing to undisputed champ now, also both by knockout against Gerald Miller and Filip Hergovich. Speaking to social media, former undisputed super middleweight champion Karl Froch did not hold back in his assessment of the fight, calling it only a British-level contest. AJ had a bit of a stinker at that press conference the other day. It made him look a bit worried. People will feed on that. They will see Dubois looks confident. Whatever the crowd is, it is a big crowd, heavyweight. It's an all British affair. Listen, this might go down very badly, but this feels to me like a British level fight. On his approach on fighting YouTube channel, Carl Froach made it clear he does not believe the fight should be for a world title. I don't see how his fight is for an IBF world title. It should be for an interim title. It would be good if it was for the British title. This is two British fighters who have lost the champion, undisputed champion now. For me, they didn't need to take uh, the IBF title off uh, undisputed champion currently and uh, now AJ and Dubos uh, get to fight for a world title. You can't hold your hand up at the end of the fight and uh, call yourself a world champion. Despite Froch's less than glowing youths, wherever wins comes away as the IBF heavyweight world champion and will be well pleased to go on to many more big nights. It is often said that a large part of boxing success comes from a strong mindset. No fighter will go through their career without having their mental toughness tested at some point. Even before fighters step into a ring, there can be plenty of mind games designed to unsettle with some fighters being much better at in than others. Mike Tyson was often said to intimidate his opponents so much before the first bell with his foreboding ring works that he had them beaten from the off. Another heavyweight whose mental state has often been in the spotlight is Anthony Joshua. He was shown resilience at times, such as during his fight with Gegemon's heavyweight, when he dealt well with the first knockdown of his career to come back and secure a history win. At other times, people have been concerned for him, not least when he threw the world titles out of the ring and ran it under the microphone after his second loss to Undisputed Champ in 2022. Speaking to social media, Hall of Fame legend Carl Froch, who had plenty to say about AJ recently, has now claimed that AJ is mentally fragile and loses every time he steps up to the level. I always say that he is a bit mentally fragile. Since losing to Andy Ruiz, he had his soul taken away from him that night. He quiet, did not hear. It goes down as a technical knockout, which has never happened to the Cobra, by the way. He quiet on his feet, I'm not going to hold it against him, he won the rematch, he is tried to be great again, but he is realist he is not at the level, cause every time he gets asked a question and steps up to the level he gets beat, undisputed champ now. Good fighter, but he is cruiserweight, Joshua had so much size and strength on him, but you've got to be brave to use that, Froch said. George Foreman names the one heavyweight who could have competed in any era. George Foreman knows a thing or two about eras. The thumping heavyweight was world champion before retiring in 1977. He would return a decade later to resume his campaign and in 1994 regain a belt to become the division's oldest champion in heavyweight history at 45. Having competed over three decades and uh, against some of the very best big men that the sport has ever seen, Foreman has a unique insight into how things changed. Speaking to social media about his uh, tenure, the man from Marshall, Texas, identified Ron Leal and his fellow fighters 
from the 70s, a stronger and more fearsome than who he will return against 10 years ago, except that he is Evander Holyfield, Ron Lille. He was the strongest man I never faced in a fight, George Foreman said. The likes of Shannon Briggs and men like that didn't affect me because they were just ordinary fighters. They didn't make an impression and I just chased them around. The men I faced at in the 70s were more fearsome than the ones I faced at in the 80s and the 90s. With the exception of Evander Holyfield, Evander could have competed in any era. Foreman faced at Holyfield in 1991, his first comeback attempt to become heavyweight champion. That was thwarted by the younger Holyfield via unanimous decision. The real deal would retain his belt for two more fights before coming up short against rival Riddick Bowe. Until this year, he was the only man to have been undisputed at both cruiser and heavyweight, recently welcoming undisputed champ now to that exclusive club. Bob Aaron predicts close winner in an Anthony Joshua Daniel Dubois. He is a terrific fighter. Anthony Joshua soon has the chance to become a three-time world heavyweight champion. The British star has enjoyed a remarkable career arc that began in the professional ranks soon, after he became an Olympic gold medalist and quickly led to him becoming a belt holder and then a unified champion. After a most strength-forward first chapter that saw him knock out many of his opponents, including Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin, he came unstuck against last substitute Andy Ruiz Jr. in 2019. Twelfth, he won the rematch out in Saudi Arabia. A year later, he took his second loss against Anisburi champ now and failed to reverse the result in their second meeting. Since April 2023, he has got back to winning ways, albeit against fringe contenders, and the last time out stopped former MMA champion Francis Ngannou in brutal fashion in just two rounds. Next up is the match Sterner test on Daniel Dubois, who himself has put together Two good wins against Jarl Miller and Filip Hergovic after difficult losses to Joe Joyce and Undisputed Champ now. Legendary promoter Bob Arum knows a thing or two about the big man having once promoted the likes of Muhammad Ali and he has given his prediction excellent fight. Dubos is a terrific fighter and so is Joshua, it will be a terrific attraction in England. I think it's 50-50. If I had to bet on one or the another, I would bet Joshua, but it's a really good fight, Aram said. Match has been made of Anthony Joshua's recent form with plenty of fans and the pundits believing the former champion is back to his best. Questions have been asked of AJ since suffering back-to-back -back losses to a newly crowned undisputed champion. Dubos is coming off a career best win defeating Kargovic to capture the IBF interim title. In an interview, Triple D says he will turn Joshua into an old man when the two met. I don't know, I feel like his best days are maybe behind him or whatever, but I've got to turn him into an old man in the ring. I've got to put pressure on him and unleash everything I've got on him. I've got to become a shining light and just go into the light out of the darkness and do what I know I can do. I've had bumps along the journey, but I'm back where I should be, Triple D said. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.